All right, that is the new wave mini. This is the thrift store one, the new wave two. But what are we gonna cook in the new wave? First, I'm gonna get aluminum foil. Put the aluminum foil down. And I'm gonna go overboard and I'm gonna spray some Pam. Because in this new wave mini, I'm gonna cook couldn't let them go to waste. Tater tot. I'm going to say I think I can get a half a bag of tater tots in the new wave mini. I only got a few left, so they're going to make it whether they want to or not. All right, so that's about a half a bag of tater tots. So the instructions say quite a while, actually. Let's move these. They want these to be for like 12 minutes at 450, and then you flip them. So we're going to do 12 minutes. This only goes to 350. Cook time, 12 minutes. And away they go. And we'll flip them after a while. Okay, that's coming along. We're within a minute. Falcons and uh, Seahawks are on. Falcons looking good. Take this top off and unplug it. Make it reach. Gently. I'm going to flip these as best I can. Maybe just roll them around a little bit. I've kind of flipped them. You know, tater tots, how you flip them all. Uh, since it's not as hot as they want the oven to be, I'm going to cook time and do 14 minutes on the side. Go! Go! I'm going to give it a, about two more minutes, and then I'm going to move it off and cook the other stuff, and then finish it off. Okay, that's almost 12 minutes on each side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it, open that tray, carefully move it. I'm going to get the uh, plug in the new wave induction. All right, and with that, we have some chicken tenders. And I'm going to put marinate some green chili Thai curry sauce in there. Just right in the frying pan. I'm going to let it sit in there for a bit. All right, that's going to work with it. And that's got that curry smell. And I like Put it. Put that chicken on there. I'm going to start off on medium. And then what we will do is, once that's about done, I'll plug the uh, oven back in and give a couple more minutes on those tater tots. But the chicken start. Man, that curry smells good. Here we go. We got the uh, silicone. I'm gonna flip these. Anybody that says like a Copper Chef pan is supposed to be non-scratch, please. Actually, anything that's gonna have a coating is gonna be scratchable. If you want non, if you want something that's not gonna scratch and can almost be non-stick if you handle them well, cast iron might be your answer. Cast iron can be pretty impressive. All right, I'm gonna let that keep cooking. You guys think you're living with an Indian dude now. There's so much curry smell going on. All right. Keep flipping it. There we go. Keep it cooking. Keep it cooking. All right, that chicken's coming along, and I really wish I could give you smell-o-vision. Because I don't want to waste anything. There's the rest of those green beans. Put them right in there. Let them cook. Frozen and straight in there. I don't care. Let me put the lid on it. Yeah, put the lid on it. Alright. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's coming along. Coming along. Can you smell it? I can smell it. And I have no reason to be anything but honest. It smells good. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. I don't know if you can see them back there, but tater tots, cook time, another three minutes. We'll cook up them tater tots, get a plate ready. Almost done. They look good, they look good down there. All right, I think they're done. 
I'm going to unplug it and I'm going to get everything plated All right, up. There we go. Chicken and green beans. I'll do the green beans first. Mmm. Nice. Chicken. Cut into that. Oh, tender. And does it look beautiful? Looks nice, huh? Smells good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'll try not to do a lot more videos of it, but I'll be eating that again. Check tater tots. Gotta have some sriracha. Because I don't use ketchup. There we go. New Wave does a good job on tater tots, too. Alright, YouTubers. Let's do a flyover, huh? Is it bad to individually sriracha up my tater tots? It's kind of my style, I guess. It's a flyover. Awesome. Alright, YouTubers. Eat well when you go RVing. It'll make your days better. Fuel your fire to go explore. And if you eat good, you have a great and wonderful day. The cell phone just captures food so much better than the GoPro.